It looks like things are going to continue to get worse for Hall of Fame quarterback Brett Favre. After a few weeks ago, when we found out his name was involved in an investigation surrounding welfare fraud in the state of Mississippi, along with a former governor of that state. Now, honestly, I don't think people really would have cared about this too much if it was just, hey, welfare fraud investigation, blah, blah, blah. But when the name Brett Favre showed up, everybody, especially in the sports world, started to get interested. We've talked about this the past two weeks on our Sunday Sports Wars stream every Sunday at 1130 in the morning Eastern before the NFL games kick off. Check us out there if you're not already. But we do have an update to this case, which may spell disaster for Brett Favre in the future. Former official pleads guilty in welfare scandal involving Brett Favre. The recent plea deal by former Mississippi Welfare Director John Davis, who's agreed to cooperate with investigators, is the latest big victory for prosecutors in the state, and it could possibly bring him one step closer to charging NFL legend Brett Favre. According to Front Office Sports, Davis had previously been indicted for more than two dozen state and federal charges as part of the scheme. Nancy New, the head of a nonprofit used to funnel welfare funds, pled guilty to 13 felonies for her role in the fraud in April. And Nancy New is going to continue to be a name that you should be familiar with, because we have text messages between her and Brett Favre. So the allegations are that by using welfare funds, Brett Favre got paid a certain sum of money to give speeches that he never actually gave and also was able to get funding for Mississippi State's uh, a new gym or a volleyball complex where his daughter goes and plays volleyball. Along with Mississippi Governor Phil Bryant, Davis is one of the officials who helped Favre obtain $5 million in welfare funds to have a volleyball court built. At, this one says University of Mississippi. And now that I think about it, I don't even think it's Mississippi State. I think it's University of Southern Mississippi. That's what I think. Either way, a, a college in Mississippi, the school where his daughter was playing the sport at the time. A front office sports says uh, Favre has been on the radar of investigators for months. He could also be in trouble for potentially lying to the FBI. Uh, about asking if he was ever in Tupelo, Mississippi. Favre said he was there as a child, but it doesn't sound like FBI officials think he was being truthful. Here are these text messages from Brett Favre. If you were to pay me, is there any way the media can find out where it came from and from how much? No, we've never had that information publicized. I understand you being uneasy about that. Let's see what happens on Monday with the conversation with some of the folks at Southern. So it must have been Southern Mississippi. Maybe it will click with them, hopefully. Okay, thanks. Wow, just, ju just got off the phone with Phil Bryant, the governor. He's on board with us. We'll get this done. Awesome. I needed to hear that for sure. There were other text message leaks that asked that he's basically saying, not sure if it's legal or not, but we need to make sure that we get the we get the governor in on this, whether it's legal or not. This is bad for Brett Favre, especially at a time, you know, where a lot of people based on the economy, based on the shutdown due to COVID, all this stuff, there's a lot of people that are suffering in this country financially. And the fact that welfare funds were potentially misspent by Brett Favre, like that Brett Favre, Hall of Fame quarterback Brett Favre, could have been getting some of this money that could have gone to help people in the state of Mississippi. That's pretty disgusting for a lot of people. And with more people flipping over to the side of the prosecution and saying, yeah, I'll tell you whatever you want, things certainly don't look good for Brett Favre in the future. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.